with you guys. I absolutely love getting to do Kids Church. Hey! All right, today we've got some exciting stories. We're going to be hearing about two really awesome people from the Bible. Can you guess who they are? I'll give you a clue. One of them starts with a g and the other starts with a s. Can you guess? I don't know. But before we get started, you know what we do? Can you shout it out? What do we do before we get started? We pray, that's right, because we like to welcome the Holy Spirit and we like to invite Jesus to be with us as we learn more and more about him. So let's close our eyes and we're gonna bow our heads and we're going to pray, okay? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that we get to see another Sunday and that we get to come together again to do Kids Church. Lord, I just pray that, that you come and you be here in this place with us, Lord. I pray that you touch the minds of these children and you open their minds to get to understand your word and you open their hearts to want to know you more and more. Please bless them and bless their families. In your name we pray and we say, Amen. All right, so we are going to get started with our story. We're gonna take it back a little bit and do a quick little recap from what we learned last week, and then we'll jump right into our story, story, story. Remember, there are questions in the bio. Thanks, Mr. Quaker, for reminding me. There are questions in the bio. Please do the questions after you watch the Bible story. Do the questions with your grown-up. In the last narration, we learned about how Joshua died and then the Israelites turned away from God and started worshiping idols. This did not please God. So he allowed other armies that had once been afraid of the Israelites to conquer them and overpower them. They didn't treat the Israelites well. And in desperation, the Israelites cried out to God for help. And in his mercy, God raised up several men and women called judges who would help the Israelites and lead them back to God. We're not gonna talk about all the judges that were raised up because there were so many. It happened for over 400 years. But in today's story, I'm going to tell you about two men that God raised up that would help lead the Israelites back to him. The first man was called Gideon. He believed and trusted in God. He was a warrior. God had sent an angel to tell Gideon that he needed him to help save the Israelites from the Midianites. At first, Gideon did not think that he was the right man for the job because his army was small and weak, and so he asked God to give him a sign. Gideon put some meat and flat bread on a rock and poured a broth over it. When Gideon did this, God sent a fire to come out of the rock, which consumed the meat, bread, and broth. The second sign that Gideon asked for was that a sheepskin would be laid out at night. And if he woke in the morning and the sheepskin was wet, but the ground was dry, then he knew that God would give the Israelites victory. God sent Gideon the sign he needed. And just to make extra sure, Gideon asked that the sign be reversed. And sure enough, in the morning, the skin was dry and the ground was wet. The next morning, Gideon asked the army of 32,000 men if any of them wanted to go home. Many men went home and only 10,000 men were left. But God told Gideon, this was still too many men. Gideon took the men to a stream of water. Those who leaned over and drank directly from the water were sent home. Only 300 men were left. God was going to show his power and strength. God gave specific instructions to Gideon. Each man would have a trumpet and a torch of fire covered by an empty jar. 
At night, they surrounded the Midianite camp. At Gideon's signal, they blew their trumpets, broke the clay jars, and shouted. And I'm going to read from the Bible, Judges chapter 7, verse 20. They shouted, a sword for the Lord and for Gideon. God caused such fear in the Midianite camp that they became terrified and confused, and they ended up killing each other. God gave the Israelites a great victory. And while Gideon was alive, the people followed God. But once Gideon died, you know what happened? The people turned away from God again. The next judge we will look at was a man named Samson. Samson's parents and the Israelites were oppressed by people called the Philistines. God told Samson's parents that they were going to have a son that would deliver them from the Philistines. They were told that the boy would have great strength. However, he was not allowed to cut his hair. If he cut his hair, his strength would be gone. Samson grew up and he fell in love with a girl. But it happened that Samson was not able to marry the girl. And in his anger, he killed over 1,000 Philistine men. The Philistines were desperately trying to capture Samson, but he was too strong and would always escape. One day, Samson met another woman named Delilah, with whom he also fell in love. Delilah tried everything to find out why Samson was so strong. She wanted to hand him over to the Philistines. Every night, Delilah, uh, Delilah asked Samson the secret to his strength. Finally, one night, he told her that if his hair was cut, he would no longer be strong. As soon as Samson fell asleep, Delilah ran to tell his secret to the Philistines. Sure enough, when they came and cut his hair, they were able to capture Samson because his strength was gone. They put Samson in prison and poked his eyes out. While Samson was in jail, the Philistines were having a big festival to celebrate their God. They decided to bring Samson out so that he could perform for them. Samson prayed to God. And I'm going to read from the Bible, from the book of Judges, chapter 16, verse 19. He said, O oh Lord God, please remember me, and please strengthen me only this once, O oh God, that I may avenge on the Philistines for my two eyes. Samson reached the two supporting pillars in the temple and bracing himself, he pushed with all his might. And you know what happened? The whole building collapsed and the temple came down on all the rulers and those people that were at the feast and it killed them all. Samson also died that day. But the number of people that he killed at that temple was more than those that he had killed even when he was alive. Hmm, I wonder, are the Israelites going to turn back to God once and for all and follow him alone? You know where to find out? Right here, next Sunday. <laughs>